four tries conceded, one per match. And Sunny Lee of Hong Kong, China, with one of the most salivating semi finals of the 2024 challenger to take charge of. Maria Taladrid wants to be off to Madrid come the end of this challenger series. And both these sides are questing for a first final of 2024. The rush coming up on the Belgians who are put under extreme duress. Taladrid just grabbing by the jersey. Belgium have looked so composed. They've looked so coordinated. They had their cage rattled a little bit against Not on the ball, let go. against Thailand in the quarterfinal. But they composed themselves, but they lose that composure there, close to their line. And a prime piece of attacking real estate for Maria Brigido and her brigade in the opening minute of this semi-final. Argentinian women's rugby is a scene on an upward trajectory. They dethroned Brazil at the South American Championships. The first time that's happened since the tournament's inception in 2004. And Brigido, Brigido leads her troops early in this semi-final to under the uprights. And Argentina, first blood drawn. In this semi-final. Gonzalez. Simply does not miss from in front of the post. And the vivacious fans of Las Yagaretas are up and dancing. There's a long way to go. But the vibes are high, that's for sure, at the Estadio Charrua. Gonzalez. Oh, the timing. Exquisite on the hit. Quality of that dropout. Jimena Matus arrives on the scene. Belgium driven back deep. Once again, that's good range on the pass. And there's some pace out there with Noemi van der Poel. A hat trick in the opening match. No try since for the flyer. Well, offside called, advantage being played. Belgium in a spot of bother. And back we come for the penalty. They've been really hot on it, the officials. Back foot offsides. Not being back 10 from the, from the set piece. It's actually been really refreshing to see. It's just giving the attacks of these sides that little bit more oxygen to breathe into their creativity. And Margot Stevans is so often the creative linchpin for this Belgian side. Who were massively disappointed in Dubai. They've got huge expectations of themselves, and many of these women having been on a decade long journey from the amateur days to a pretty professional setup now. Finalists twice in 2023, beaten by South Africa both times, but looking for their first final here in Uruguay. Nice offload. Again, look at the suffocating press that's being offered up by Argentina. The Belgians being driven back, and that's what's needed. A bit of directness offered up by Ney Lapine. But holding on. Off go Argentina, off goes Gonzalez. Just using the ball to manipulate the defence, but the offload too ambitious.
Michael Garcia, the former Salter coach, watches on. He sees this team of women being at the vanguard of a new era for rugby in Argentina. They lead by seven, but Noemi van der Poel is on the ball. She skips inside. It takes two dark blue jerseys to converge upon. And then not getting out of the way. Argentina down to six momentarily as they dust themselves down for the breakdown. Through the middle, Belgium go. They don't mind that Margot Lally. Such a leader, such an athlete, such a try scorer. Still, no one's got a hand on her. And then the ricochet inside of Brigido. And Lali's looking to the referee saying, where's my advantage? Maria Brigido is the guilty party here for an intentional knockdown. I wonder if a penalty tries in the conversation. So Argentina reduced to six for the remainder of this half. Let's take a look at this again. Lali going for the offload inside. Brigido, that looks like the knockback could have been backwards. So, play continues though. Stevans taps. Belgium usually plump for the set piece. The press is so much more difficult to execute. When down to six, and Noemi van der Poel is going to get called back. Because the last pass is adjudged to be forward, but there's some advantage being played. The calls come in from Hollywood on the other side of the field. So just establishing the mark, Sunni Lee. And the dancing has turned to anxiety for the Argentinian fans. And as is usually the Belgium MO. They decide to turn the penalty into a scrum. Remember, Argentina down to six. So difficult to defend a scrum with one less player. There is absolutely acres for Van der Poel out wide. So much so that Cecile Blondio is given a free ride to the try line. And Blondio scores try number 13 of her challenger campaign. Number 13 on this occasion. Unlucky for Argentina. Brigido back onto the field of play. Argentina resort, restored to the full complement of seven. The hoot has gone. Brigido sniping. She'll be full of running, having given her legs and her lungs a couple of minutes to regenerate. And she can't be stopped at the moment, all the way across the halfway line. Medina. Medina refusing to go down. Brigido. To Gonzalez. Gonzalez so often the linchpin. The switch doesn't quite work as planned, but Taladri mops up the mess. Here's Gengini. Gengini skips inside. Gengini. The offload on the shoulder. Jimena Matus. The girl from Catamarca. A try right on the buzzer of half time. A double for the Argentinians in this first half. And Sofia Gonzalez's boots will try and take them to 14 before the huddles. Oh, the coolest head in Montevideo belonging 
to Sofia Gonzalez. And the carry from Gengini. The fringes looking flimsy. And Matus. He made her debut back in 2017. She has been integral to the evolution of these Argentinians. The fans are up and dancing. But we're taking a rest because half time who awaiting Los Condores. And an error from the kickoff from Belgium with themselves training 14 5. Hands possession to the Argentinians. They are in command of the scoreboard. And when they've been at their full complement, they've been in command of the match. Brigido, very much the general. But she herself hands possession back and roll of the eyes after a bit of imploring at Sunny Lee. Eagle-eyed and well spotted and well blasted from the referee. Stay Vance being harassed. Does really well to get the ball off the floor. Fist ball, tight spiral all the way out to Blondio, the try scorer, the danger woman for this Belgian side. Stay Vance, first receiver, drops. Drops one right on the toes of Naila Pien. Belgium just fumbling around for the fluency that they've shown for nearly all the competition. Be lost at for Nela Pien. White five, the call. Well, white five, that's you, Nela. You're there in the scrum. Louise Liegeois instead is installed. Women from Vervier. 29 years old, only first started playing when she was 24 years old in Martinique. That's some setting for your first game of rugby. Brigido traveling, offering danger from the base. Gengini connects with Palero. Palero pumping the pistons. No clear release. Brigido, she won't hang around. Power from the Argentinians and Matus. A dart to the line, a surge through the semi-final. And it's Azul doing the funky cold Medina and celebrating a try that could well take the game beyond reach from the Belgians. It was quick fire, Blitzkrieg attacked. Lightning recycling, and Azula Medina, who picked up the ball early in her years, age 11, inspired by her brother who also plays the game. Diving across and stretching this lead out to a bit of a Montevideo mountain, as far as Belgium are concerned. Off goes the try scorer. Brilliant chase, the offload hurried. Advantage to Argentina in all senses of the word. Four minutes remaining.
on comes Andrea Moreno, who herself made her debut nearly 10 years ago. Woman from La Plata, Myra Aguilla. Puts the ball in, spots a glint of room and offloads to Moreno, right into the thick of things. Aguilla. Gonzalez. Well, the offload wasn't intended for Gengini, but she'll take it. And Roddick. Oh, the handling extraordinary from Argentina. Offload City. And into Tri Town for Las Yagaretas. They just pump the accelerator and they speed up en route to this final that is in their destiny on their own continent. Gonzalez acknowledges the vociferous support here in the Estadio Charlua. And it's Maria Aguilla of La Carencia Club. Gets the ball down and makes sure of this final. Belgium, they have been hassled and harried. They haven't been given any room to breathe, any room to express themselves. And Argentina, so flat in the semi final in Dubai, have been so full of zest here in Montevideo, Gonzalez beginning to reach deeper into her toolbox of tricks with a knock forward by Talia Rodic. Means Belgium with 90 seconds and a bit of change. We'll have a scrum. Well, all the personnel of Argentina getting a run out now. Moreno, Taladrid and Palero packing down. Ready to lift off. Stevans is off. Belgium on the ball. Gonzalez right up into the windscreen of the Belgian attackers. Clamps down as well, but no clear release. 60 seconds. Belgium looking for something, looking for a moment to take to Krakow, but they get their lunch money stolen by Talia Rodic again. Aguilla, who has said before that rugby helped unite her family. Well, uniting her family, but fracturing the Belgian defence once again. It is a supercharged semi-final display from Las Yagaretas, who leap to the final in emphatic fashion. A complete performance from these Argentinian women who were the surprise package when they arrived with such class in Dubai in January. But now it's the worst case.